Hold on. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> did you hear this to me? You did. You, you hear this to me, didn't you? Do it, dude. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> too late. I'm already. I'm already. But I'm already shut. Up. <coughs> Gas. <laughs> shut up. I ain't shut up. Now. Shut up. Aloha! Hello. Welcome to the Lolo Brothers and Welcome. Friends show. Here we are again. This is episode number six. Oh my goodness. Number six it's already? It's getting kind of crazy, yeah. It's like uh, a half a dozen. That is a half, half a dozen. dozen Malasadas. Or eggs. Six. Or eggs? Half a dozen of... You ever buy well, a half six dozen anyways. eggs? Well, it's not really our lucky number, though. You ever buy a half dozen eggs? I have bought in a half a do like dozen eggs. But it kind of feels like when you buy like the four little rolls of toilet paper... Just yeah. go and buy weird, more. You're going to use it. It's just not, buy it's the dozen and get it over with. Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, anyways, welcome to you. We're uh, <laughs> digressing immediately. Welcome to Think Tech. At Think Tech, we're raising public awareness and technology, energy, globalism, and diversification. Wow. And so hopefully we're fairly diversified I'm here. I'm still amazed by that. I am. Mm -hmm. I, feel div I feel smarter just reading that. Because with all the technology on ThinkTech, we're like the show with the least technology. Yeah, but we talk about technology I and know, we talk about stuff going on in the world. It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird because yeah. I'm not a big news guy. We don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. Technology is like well, street level technology. It's <laughs> like I say, you know, we, we, we know what it is. Word on the street is. Yeah. Anyways, let's uh, let's talk about the news. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in the news Current today. Events, huh? Some of it's good, some of it's not. It's kind so of a good. weird one here. I don't know if you can really make out the picture. We're gonna try to keep it light. Keep it light, huh? Well, to begin with. I mean, we're in Hawaii, so this is the last thing you would expect. Yeah. Okay. So in Hawaii, we have one skating rink. One. Ice, one ice skating rink. Well, it's an ice skating rink. Ice palace. Um, Hawaii's not really known to be a big hockey town. Just no, saying. but this is like an American savings fundraiser will be cool. It's going to be cool. <laughs> oh, I get it now. It's going to be cool. <laughs> it's one of those wordplay things, Joe. They do They're that. They're having a curling fundraiser. Curling. Curling. Okay. Is there a curling community here? For those of you who don't know what curling is, and I'm sure that's most of you. Um, <laughs> no, it's curling. in the Olympics. <laughs> well, it is in the Olympics, but Everybody it's, knows it's, the they Olympics. take the big rock. And they scoot it down the ice, and the guys with the brooms come out. The funny like thing is, it's it kind of fascinating. It when is. the Olympics come out, I find myself glued to the curling. It's, it's like, it's Canadian bowling. <laughs> I've never seen curling in my life, but there it is on the Olympics. On the Olympics. Ah! And you're like, no, he's going to hit it. And they're it's like, a bugger. And yeah, and they're sweeping <laughs> up the floor. It's the craziest sport I've It is a crazy seen, sport. Yeah. Anyways, they're going to do that to they're way doing it raise here. money here in Hawaii. So if you want to see it live, we're having one of the Olympic... Uh, Check the paper, because I don't see a date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd like to promo your stuff. But it's but, definitely uh, coming. It's, it's coming. coming, I promise. And uh, it'll be cool, cool fun. What else we got? Uh, that, was, else we got? that was pretty good. That was uh, funny. Oh, okay, lady. You're going straight to the... We want to know, what the heck is this? Do you I, wear this stuff? I, Can it, you really wear that? It's is beyond me. And supposedly it's wearable art. I think it's a suitcase. It, it looks like a, looks like an, hold it up steady. It kind of looks like an umbrella. Like she's wearing a lawn umbrella. I think there's a. It looks uncomfortable to sit down in for sure. And I, I think there's a hatch in there when you can put stuff in it. She That's looks I hot. I don't know about this stuff, man. I would never wear it. But um, shh. Okay. It kind of looks like a futuristic uh, Stepford Wives. I don't, I don't know. I don't man. actually get that. Yeah, so. I don't know. Crazy. Uh, we can talk about the deep down discoveries that they found in. Uh, mm. You don't want to talk about that? They found a whole bunch of weird new fish out new on some fish. reef. Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. Yeah. Finds possible new, new species. species. Apparently there was a seahorse and. I thought there some was seahorses already. 
Yeah. We don't have a lot of seahorses in Hawaii. Look at this one. I don't know what that is. Well, that's that? it's new, Joe. There's a red thing down here? You've never seen is it that before. the new one? I don't... <laughs> I'm just thinking if it's... What is this, too? I see something in yellow. Oh, oh yeah. I've tried to pronounce the Hawaiian Every name. Every dive the... we did was on a reef no human being has ever laid their eyes on. Yeah. Wow. That's... It was like... That's no, some crazy super stuff duper down here. You ever see, like, the really deep where it's black and they have stuff that's, like, no color yeah, and yeah, yeah. nothing? Like and the little got, angler like, fish. It's got the little light. Off of... what? Yeah. Who, what is that? That's crazy is what but it I'm is. But I'm looking at this here. I see. I can do it. It's like outer space but underwater. Papahana Umo Okua Kea. Wow, congratulations. Dude, You're comma I think that was wrong. If you can I missed say it that, by one letter. You're definitely comma <laughs> Ina. <laughs> Closer than you got. Got your comma Ina badge. Okay, what else? That's your uh, That's Hawaiian like, fish oh, of the day. Oh, I did have another sad thing to report. It's a new topic, Hawaiian fish of the day. Hawaiian Remember fish of that. the day. We could yeah. do that and have like we should. fish. <laughs> That's what you would day, have. Like every week. Not speak. like your fish. This episode brought to you fish. by carp. He has wooden fish in a fish cage. Yeah, in a do. bird cage. A bird cage. Wooden fish in a well, bird cage. Well, the cat cage. doesn't care if it's fish or And a cat in birds, a bird cage. Yeah. Pretty weird. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. We're known for being weird. Yeah. Um, I had one other sad thing to report. There was apparently another shooting in a school. Uh, I, mean, I don't even want to talk about it because it's so ugly, but I just want to say what the hell is going on out there? It's just people, a weird world, man. I just, I cannot even wrap my mind around people somebody that would do that. Out, and now everybody's like trying to get on this pro-gun, you know, law thing. There's too many just, guns. It's not you that. Can, you know, if everybody, they're out uh, there, I'm not going to go down into that. Go so. there, okay, there it is. You know. Don't do that. All right, we're done. We're done with the negative, but that is my heart goes out to the people that, that lost their, their mm -hmm. loved ones in that. Mm -hmm. Tragic again. What else we got, man? Um, it's been raining here a this? lot. Oh, my God. Like every day, yeah. rain. Yeah. I'm originally from Seattle, and I moved to Hawaii so that I could get out of everyday rain, but oh. here I am. Yeah, well, it's and not every day, though. It's at my house. Lately, it has been. It's, you know what? It was just hot, like... A month ago? Yeah. Wasn't it like oh, sweltering? Oh, it was so hot you could just... Yeah, like grass right. was like gray yeah. brown matter that yeah. you step on it and it disappeared. Now it's just like this... No, I got like a lawn I have to cut every like three days we're mowing the lawn. My house, because of where I'm located, it kind of up in the valley, it rains all the time. So it's kind of like the Munster's house. I'll be talking about the Munster's, Munsters the other yeah. week. Yeah. But you ever go to the front door and it was always like whoosh, windy and blowy and, and, you know, I can get in my car and drive like half a block down the road and it's... Sunny. Oh yeah, that's Iaea, man. It's like, it's like every day nuts. like that. But you know, we're lucky we live Hawaii, so. Yeah. I got that. Oh, I heard. Uh, let's get into some technology. I got some technology to lay on you. You got go. technology? I do. I got wow. some technology. I know. Usually, you take that's the technology. Gonna, go ahead. I don't know what you're going to talk about. I though. thought that this was pretty interesting. There is going to be a Yelp type of app for rating people. Like, you know, like if, you, if you're on Yelp, you go to a restaurant and you, oh, it was a good service. I give that four stars. You know, oh, that Jimmy so-and-so, he's an a-hole, so I'm going to give him, you know, two thumbs down. And there's going to be an app so that you can rate people. Hmm. And there's a lot of people that are freaking out about that. That doesn't sound like something I'm At like. this point, uh, oh, if man. you're on this thing, you cannot delete the comments or remove yourself from the app once you're on the app. And it's wow. a, like a star rating, so. Oh my God. Four star. You're definitely getting crude out there. I mean, that's just. It's all just, this social media and networking. And well, that's just bullying, isn't like, it? Man, once you get out there, you know, like people have cell phones, but they won't get certain apps or something because of this or that. Yeah. Man, once you buy, get a cell phone and turn that bugger on. Yeah. Half the stuff already people. loaded on there. It doesn't matter what app you yeah. got. We, we got know you. where you are. Big Brother is watching. You, man. The man. The man knows. They're following you. We're trying to find the man. And if Does we do get him, we'd like I to like have him as a guest nowadays. on our show. There's people out there that don't have cell phones and Facebook. And One of my friends from back home in New Jersey. Yeah. At 54. Just got a cell phone. Wow. Like a year ago. That's really His fucking kids the system. made him get a cell phone. Yeah, yeah. It's like dad. And then he texted me one day and I was like... Oh my God! Yeah, what the oh, hell? Fell over. Yeah, it was like crazy. it was the end of the world. Or he goes, hey, I got a cell phone. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> Still not on Facebook yet. Yeah, you know. And then people go, oh. I'm not getting on Facebook. Yeah, and then once they get like, on there all day, it's like <sighs> it's all you hear are these like random ranting. Did you ever posts do like Farmville and all that? Stuff? Never did Farmville. Never. Life's I didn't even know that existed, and I got on there like. For me, life's too short for video games. 
I can't do them. Um, I, 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 I used I, to try I, to play I, my son, and it would be like, i get so stressed out oh, and yeah, just yeah, throw yeah. the remote control. Well, I mean, I remember <laughs> I was against the wall. I was playing Crazy, this. Uh, right? um, oh, we're getting raided hey. right now. How many stars we get? He didn't say how many stars. Was my guest for this week is Alan. Oh, your guest for the guest this week was oh, Alan. Oh, we got bad news. We have bad news to report. We're Storm. That's today. that's a tweet from Storm. Uh, we appreciate it, but I think we're winning today. Due to circumstances it today. beyond our control, Alan could not be here today. So we're and guestless. So we're guestless. But word? yes, you were right. That would have. Uh, now she has to be on our show. Hey, she did, did that. Did we even twice. post a picture of him? No, we Where's did not. Where's she getting her information? Wait a minute. It might have been on the website. I think you got an inside again. scoop. What? It might have been on the website again. Really? Well, I updated it on Wednesday. Oh, so. you. Cheater. I don't think she's cheating. <laughs> I think she recognized his voice from, that the, from the video. Is that cheating if it's posted? It doesn't matter. Really she's going to be a guest on our show. We're coming after you. Maybe we got you. Mark. Sandy. And Mark is rating us We don't us even both. know Mark, but he's been a great tweeter. He's rating us right now. Uh, Mark watches, I'm pretty sure he watches every Think Tech show. If you're around, Mark, we'll have you on the show one day. And uh, he lives in Chicago. Oh, well, if you ever come here. We have to explain. Hey, I'm rating you both. I hope we get yeah. rated. I hope we get good ratings. Yeah, he didn't say how high he rated us, though. Wait, we don't have to join the app to find out, do we? We might have to. And then, but once we're on there, we won't be able to get off. You can, uh, Mark, just tweet just, us live yeah, and tell yeah, us. We can fun. take it. We I'm thick skin, man. If I get a two, I get a two. <laughs> I'm too old. I'm for this. good with two. I'm too old for this stuff. I'm old. <laughs> I get a two. I must be doing something. Right. You know, it was that age where you just don't care anymore. At least you're not a total. You I know, just don't care. Idiot. Idiot. A-hole. Shut up. Can you say that? <laughs> Can I say that? And still Can you say that here? You know, my neighbor, she's kind of, you know, goes to church, really nice lady, and she always says, she come over, she goes, shut the front door, and be like, <laughs> oh. she thinks she's going to say, shut the... Yeah, 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 and she doesn't. And she always says, shut the front door. Well, and you should... It gets me every single time. Probably not leave the front door open, Joe. I never do. Okay. Well, you have dogs. It's crazy. They're I vicious. wouldn't leave my door open. <laughs> I like security we're dressings dogs. all over the place. We're getting now. all over the place here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got some tweets and uh, yeah. no Alan today. So we got uh, more stuff we'll be talking but about. But you still win a guest spot. But yeah. No. Actually, now you got to be on twice already. Sandy. If she yeah. keeps winning, we can just like have a month of Sandy guest spots. I hope she can make it. <laughs> I hope she can make it. All right. What uh, else is going on? Uh, oh, last Tuesday I did a little gig at the Downbeat. Yeah. That was cool. That we was don't cool. have video of that. That's I mean, the first I have time a video. I was over there, and I really liked it. I did. I dig the vibe. It, it was, was cool. a lot of great musicians. One guy yeah. we met from New Jersey. He's yeah. From Jersey. Yeah, he, he seemed like a Jersey yeah. guy. Yeah. We hit it right off, man. He was, was already singing like, Bruce hey, Springsteen. Yeah, you're from Jersey? Yeah, yeah. I'm from Jersey. Yeah, he gave, yeah, you guys totally did the Jersey, did the Jersey thing. secret handshake. Or and, you know, we used to see old band. I saw Twisted Sister back in the day before oh, sure. they were like a big band. Doing the East Coast circuit. Sure, sure. Everybody stopped doing Asbury Park. Right. Isn't Great White from over there, it too? It was a great place to grow up in the 70s. Wasn't maybe. Great White from over there? I don't know. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm thinking of I'm Maryland. not up on my Great White today. I think it's Maryland. I could be wrong. You know, we <laughs> check our, so often we check in our facts. <laughs> we um, don't check our facts. Yeah. That's but that was fun. I, I had fun. I pulled out my electric guitar and uh, ditched the acoustic. That's why we try not to say anything too serious, because... We just don't no. check our facts. <laughs> we don't want to get in too much trouble. You know? yeah. Kind of like soft trouble. Yeah. I don't know. Is that a word? Well, you know Is what's really thing? cool, Joe? I'm going to say this right before the break. I'd like to get this in. Um, we sang happy birthday on the show, and oh, we found out that that was yeah. like a terrible, terrible thing to really? do. Kind of got all in trouble for it. Like a and slap they on came the back. Um, they came back, and they decided that that's not copyrighted. So no. I like to believe that the Lola Brothers had something to do did. with that. And you're welcome. I think we had something to do with that. I hope so. You know? I mean, I, think I feel the world's better. a better place because everybody can now sing happy birthday. Now you can sing happy birthday yeah. on TV. Anytime. And that's it. All right, okay. well, we're going to go have our little break now, and we'll be back with some uh, more cool. stuff we're going to talk about. Cool. I think we got another tweet. We'll talk about that. So we'll right. see you soon. Tweets. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage here on Think Tech Hawaii. Center Stage airs every Wednesday at 2 o'clock, and of course you can check out our archives on YouTube or on Think Tech Hawaii anytime you like. Why should you do that? Because this is an arts show that I believe is making a difference in lives. We talk with uh, artists of various ilk. We talk with 
painters and, and writers, playwrights, novelists, poets, sculptors, dancers, um, you name it, directors, but, uh, actors, of course. And we don't only only talk about what people do, but we talk about how they do it. And my favorite part of the conversation, we talk about why they do it. And it's really common on this show to hear people say, wow, I didn't think about it that way. And it's very common to hear people afterwards who have seen the show say the same thing. And I hear all the time that people are inspired by the conversations that we have. So why don't you join us and be inspired too. That's Center Stage on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock. We'll see you Center Stage. Hello, ha! Huh? How you doing? It's me, Angus McTech, wishing you to welcome and join us to see us on Hibachi Talk on Think Tech Hawaii. Join my co-hosts, Gordo the Tech Czar and Andrew the Security Guy, every Friday from 1300 to 1345. We look forward to seeing you. We'll talk tech and we'll have some wee bit of fun. And remember, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Hello, ha! Huh? All right. I'm looking at you, Nancy. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I see you, Nancy. Right there. Um, I love the monitor. Wait, before we go, can I talk about the commercial that we just saw? Oh, the guy with the puppet. I mean, puppet? that puppet that freaks is, me out, man. That is, Don't talk about the puppet. No, it's really kind of awesome. I mean, you, you like know, the puppet? I, I kind of do. I, I know about the puppet. At least it's Puppets? not one of those clown puppet or something. The only puppets I like are the Muppets, which oh, are back on TV. They're back on TV. The you Muppets. Know the Muppets are like my favorite. Yeah, I, I have this feeling. Muppets. Back in the 70s, the show, it's not a kid's show. Do, 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 it's not do, a kid's do, show. They had some of the funniest stuff in the 70s. I have like a Muppet episode That's DVD hilarious. that we just That's watched. Hilarious. Well, let's get back to our tweet here. We got a tweet. We got a tweet from uh, Nancy. From Nancy, and she's asking, what does Joe keep looking at? I'm looking well, at the monitor, Nancy. Big surprises. We are over monitor. here. And we're looking at it. And it has us on there. It beats looking at that blank thing with the red light on it. I'm looking at I'm the red light. I'm trying to look at it. He's I'm looking learning. at himself. That's it. And I am sporting the Motley Ook shirt today, Oh, Nancy. yeah, that's what it is. Nancy, that's an awesome Nancy Christensen shirt. is the Jordan. drummer for Motley Ook. They're a really Come funny figure, band. They huh? play... Uh, she would like that shirt. Well, yeah, it's her band. I think you wore that shirt before. Have I, I don't think I've worn this shirt on this show. I'm going to go back and look. I don't know. I, I know I have Nancy's it. probably slipping I know in 20s, I and I'm getting men of I know I'm... Yeah. I need more shirts. <laughs> I'm on to you guys. That's right. So Mind that's right. Throw the Lola Brothers shirts, and we'll wear them on our show. Hey, there is a, that's what we don't have yet. I need a sign on that. What does Joe get? Oh, you saw that already. We already saw that. We talked about we the tweets. I, I actually thought of signing up for Twitter. Really? Under the Lola Brothers Do you know what to do with it yet? Name. Well, we need to do that anyway. So we, we should have our own Twitter. Have our own Twitter? I yeah. mean, our own tweets? We'll sit down and what figure it out it? together. It'll be like Should I Laurel look at you Hardy. or should I look at the monitor? And I don't technology. even know anymore. Well, look at me, man. I'm right here. I don't like looking at you. you can, Okay, let's look at the too. monitor. But okay. I'm just looking at you on the monitor. Hey, okay, we're well, you're really not wearing socks, here. are you? No. Because I saw a person the other day with two different color socks, and I'm like, why do people Sometimes do that? when it's dark, the, the blue ones are and the brown ones. Are they colorblind? Ones? Oh, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, but how come if it's like green and red or something? Yeah, that's just either that's you're trying colorblind. to be weird or you're colorblind. Yeah, but a colorblind is still going to see two different colors. You know what always, right? I was always wondering about colorblind people. I don't mean any disrespect by this at all, but the stoplight's got to be kind of weird. Yeah. Hmm. Blue. I don't know. Pink. And How do you know it's the red light stop? Blue, pink, and orange? I yeah, don't, I don't know, know, man. That's crazy. I don't know. Pink? You pink stop know what order they're in, I guess. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. We're really digressing. Uh, as we stated before, our, our guest didn't show up. Uh, so we're winging it. We're winging it. We have it. no idea what we're doing, but we're in the um, sixth episode, so we're kind of starting to get a hang of it. Well, hopefully. You know, where's the guitar? Totally land. We can interview well, the guitar. The guitar. Right here. Maybe in the third segment, we'll talk to the guitar. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got Zuri, the, the magical oh. ear fairy in my ear. What did you say again? Oh, we can look at the photo on Twitter. That's a picture of me last oh. Thursday. Um, jamming on my electric guitar. That's on Twitter? Yeah. She tweeted oh, a Donna picture. Donna tweeted a Twitter on yeah, Twitter. It's a picture. A picture. I had, that's my very first electric guitar. Hey, you could have tweeted my picture, Donna. I, I, <laughs> I mowed many lawns for that guitar. Uh, I got it. my new camera. I always bring it with me. Yeah, he brings it everywhere. It's my little baby. It doesn't look very it's a serious Sony. anymore. Sony A7. <laughs> All right, That's what else good. do we got to talk about, brother? We'll talk about this in another technology. We will. Report. I think I just talked about technology, though. We got another technology report. Because, you know, people. a couple weeks ago, yeah. our buddy Scotty, everybody oh. knows Scotty Moniz. He's a great rocking guy. Okay. He's been around a long time. You know? What band is he in? Refresh my memory. Not right now. I think he's taking a little break. Oh. But 
you know, he's a good rocker guy. He's sitting back, he's looking at his laptop, drinking a beer, watching his rock videos, you know. Watching the Lola Brothers. And he spills his beer on the laptop, man. 16 ounce <laughs> On right. his keyboard. His laptop, like, drinks the beer, right? You think it would like, be done, Shake it, right? dripping. You think it would be done. Yeah. But he hung it, you know, turned it upside down overnight, and the next, next morning day it worked right still, man, and sound and worked. So, you know, three weeks later, the thing is still going, man. Really? Yeah. And, he, like, he said it broke once, but then it came back to life again. When it came back man. to life, did he just, like, give it some more beer? I don't know. And <laughs> even it out. I wonder probably, if it has more power It was coming down from its you think buzz. the alcohol gave it a little boost or something? I don't know. Man? Maybe it has more I don't megabytes. Think Maybe more RAM. Maybe and technology generally don't go together RAM. very well. Yeah. Water I don't technology. know, Scotty. Let us know. Keep us posted yeah, keep on us posted. the uh, laptop there, We're buddy. We want to know. It. The things oh, yeah. that we lay awake at night thinking about. Yeah, you know, that's technology. Keeps me up. How yeah. good do they make something, you know? Can you, you know, spill they, a beer on a laptop they and make, make it work still? They make laptops that you can totally, they're waterproof. You can throw beer on a mud. They're made for working mud. out in the, yeah, they're made for working out in the uh, job sites and stuff. Oh, that's they actually cool. have that technology, but it's really expensive. Hmm. So unless you need to, like, you know, go on they safari make with your laptop. That you can just pretty much throw in the water. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, they're you called know, waterproof cameras, Joe. You know, once we were talking about, um, you know, the Shaka thing and all that. Oh, too. yeah, yeah. Remember that? With the horns Shaka. and the Shaka? Because I never used to throw horns, right? right? You know, remember everyone would be like, horn, and I'd be like, Aah. Right? So today, someone lets me out in traffic, right? What do I do? You threw horns? I threw horns. You never throw horns, I Joe. never throw horns. Now you guys got me trained. I'm like, hey, thanks for letting me in, buddy. It's funny because <laughs> I, I have situations for mine. If it's like, yes, let me in, please give me a little, I'll give a little shaka, you know. But right. if it's like, dude, that rocks, horns come out. Well, normally I give a shaka in traffic. I don't usually I've say I've never to given people, a horn rock, in traffic. You know. Man. You know, that's kind of weird. But, uh, <laughs> something to talk about. What does this mean? Fluorescent pink bikinis. Is that oh, like pink flamingos or something? Fluorescent pink bikinis. I, I wrote that down because the other day I was down in Waikiki, as we do sometimes. We go to Waikiki. We live in Hawaii. We go to Waikiki. Go to Waikiki. We, we see Waikiki girls. We see girls. And I've noticed this new trend in bikinis, and I was a little bit shocked by it. Um, hot pink. I mean, I'm talking hot pink and, you know, like, like okay. uh, safety cone, orange, or yellow uh, bikinis. And I, and I thought to myself that that's really odd and that um, ladies... We're already looking. We know that they're there. We, I mean, I can recognize the traffic cones from farther away, I guess, <laughs> but I'm already you don't probably the checking it out anyways. Yeah. yeah. It's like, woo! It's too too really too much. Man. <laughs> you know, you and, then, you, huh? and if you're driving down the road and you see them walking down the sidewalk, you know, you don't know whether to yield or you know when you're looking pull light, over. You know when you get blinded and you close your eyes and you can still see it. Yeah, that's the rod. You close your eyes. Do you still see the outline of the pink bikini? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, kind of crazy, buddy. You notice they make? They used to make movies we'll like. We'll talk the, about that later. They used to make movies about stuff like that in the uh, '60s. Uh, Annette Funicello and um, you know mm -hmm. how to stuff a wild bikini and stuff like that. I remember why. Yeah, those are cool movies. The Those beach, beach bunny blanket, blanket bingo, bingo beach yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a uh, odd time. Right. Mopeds were cool. Um, How's that, man? Like even in London or something, they got like the moped. Oh, the, the like mods. 50s, yeah, the mods. The mods that's and the rockers. That's a cool thing. That's man. a whole, that's all, that's, that's a like cult, a cult, man. Quadrophenia. Yeah, thing. that is real. Uh, yeah. yeah. The Who. The Who. That was that whole thing was about the rockers and the Who. Yeah. That's a great album. <sighs> man, I love that album. That's a really good one. Uh, I, I don't know what this recycling is. What does that mean? Uh, Recycle? <sighs> Just do it? You don't recycle here in Hawaii. It do makes they me actually crazy. really recycle? Or does it really just go into one? In big Seattle, thing? man, they got a, like a can for everything. They got a blue can, a green can, a brown can, and just here they go. Oh, we can't recycle that. I here. drove somebody's house the other day, and they had the gray can, which is rubbish, right? I and there was don't leaves know. and trees sticking. Uh, out. They have of it. one that's just for rubbish for trees and that's stuff. It's kind of like people that don't follow rules. Huh? That yeah. seems to be a big thing. It just lately, seems like man. a big waste for an island. You, you know, know, like in the gym, everywhere there's signs: no gym bags whatsoever. Like, whatsoever. Right? No gym so bags. what do I do the other day? I'm walking in and I trip on somebody's gym bag. That's probably why they have that rule. Yeah, and I'm like, wow, that actually really happens to yeah. people. <laughs> I was at, uh, the other night I was at Open But that mic. goes back to people not paying attention right. and following the rules. Right. right. Follow the rules, people. Follow the rules, people. They're the rules there for a reason. to keep people alive. They're to keep people safe. 
Yeah. The other night I was in a bar and the lady had a dog with her. It was kind of weird. You don't usually see oh, yeah. dogs in the bar. I tripped over that dog like three times. I felt <laughs> so terrible. But I'm in a bar. I'm not used to looking at the name dog. You. you know, the dog would look up at me like, yeah, oh, I'm I right it. here, dude. And I'm like, somebody brought another dog. Yeah. So there was two dogs. Luckily, there. it was a big dog. What was up I, with that? Was so Is bad. it like a gathering of dogs at the bar? Know. It was a, it's a bar, not well, a dog know, we bar. had an episode where we talked about dogs getting their nails painted oh, and, and, and getting pushed in the stroller, so, yeah. Is you know, that a thing? They probably hang out in the bar now. Your, they got your doggy dog. spas. Imagine taking your dog to the spa I, for the day. Huh? Let's take the dog to, to the, the spa. spa. <laughs> I'm going to a cocktail. Because, <laughs> hmm. you know, sometimes I just want to take my dog to the spa. Bar. To the bar. Have a drink. Get, keeps dogs me out of trouble. I Keeps like me that. out of trouble. Um, you know what? Uh, let's see what do we got here. What do you got? What do you got first, buddy? We're doing on time. Let's go to this broad topic thing. We got a really good broad uh, topic. We like broad topics. It was funny. I love the girls when they come over, man. We all hang yeah. out, have a good time. It gets a little crazy. That, and, uh, you know, that bee thing was really funny. Yeah, we had a bee get loose in our green screen room, and Helene is, like, under the, under the table. Allergic, and allergic to bees, probably. I'm allergic, too. And I think, you know, I tried to hit it with a rubber band. Yeah. And I almost got it, and then the guy, Nick, I swear. He hit it with the rubber band. He picked the rubber band up and hits the bee. How's that? Anyways, it was quite traumatic. You know, um, that's anyways, this is, for you. this is this week's broad topic. All right, Lola's. It's Helena, Nance, and Kat. <laughs> this is the broad topic. This is. Um, so I have a question because you just said your face is not good. My face is not good. <laughs> but okay, so you really well, are not. You really aren't a face person because I'm, when you're performing, you're not like trying to like do your face. Like, what are you drawing on to convey your? energy or passion to the audience because you you do you come at it with a lot of <laughs> energy but it's not in your face it's not in my face um i'm not, I'm not a face person i don't use your face a lot you um, do use your face a lot with you i use my face yeah i don't see her using your face i'm gonna have to disagree uh, with you there cat i believe she uses her face <laughs> quite a bit um well, certain people use their face. Like, I think your singer uses his face because he's, like, always <coughs> eyeing people out. Yes. He's obvious yes. about he it. I, she uses her yeah, face. Yeah, he's out eyeing people way. out, so <laughs> he's ass. making that kind of connection. But you You don't. are a face person. I'm a face person. That's You're what I do. You're a face person. I'm a face. You are a face yeah. person. So, face. But what are you drawing on? Um, I just draw on um, um, thinking about the ending to Footloose. <laughs> Come on. On. Right? Like, no, like that's this. totally what I'm doing on stage. Are you really? If you watch my face, so no just matter what song you're playing, you're thinking of Footloose. Yeah. Well, as long as you know, I that's mean, ridiculous. it can't be a slow song. It can't be zombie. You know what? We're trying to help people, though. We're trying to actually be useful. This is this is a music show. <laughs> I'm <Helena>. sorry. And <laughs> I misunderstood. You can't, you can't tell me you're actually thinking about Footloose. Oh, I totally. Why? Yeah. You. The ending to Footloose. But it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're a face person. Everyone has okay. a muse. Kevin Bacon is hers. Oh my god, especially <gasps> the warehouse scene in the middle of it, right? I know, right? Yeah. I don't believe it. <laughs> All right, well, so that was broad topic. From Cat. Is that that's traveling? Nancy. That's Nancy, Helena. that's Helena. Bye. <laughs> I thought that that was really quite Foot funny. Footloose, huh? Pretty interesting Foot there, loose. Helena. Yeah. That's, I never would have thought that. Yeah, never a dull moment, huh? <laughs> not, not with we those girls. That. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. That was really quite uh, footloose. Yeah, another tweet. Oh, Nancy tweeted us the again. The horn started with Ronnie James Dio's Sicilian grandmother. It's how their people warded off the evil eye. Oh, so it was like, no stink eye, no stink eye for you. No stink and eye Joe for you. Joe should know this, but... Obviously, I didn't, so thanks, man. Are you Sicilian? The great thing about this show is that we learn something new every and day. And we hope that you do, too. Because this is the technology and learning. Yeah. Um, well, energy, quick, quick, globalization, quick. diversification. Yeah. We're broadcasting to you live on the Internet every weekday and streamed on thinktechhawaii.com, ustream.tv, and speaker. Dot com. Wow, that wasted 30 seconds. I'm getting better at that, too. Good job, too. I, I feel you don't even so much smarter anymore. for saying that. Yeah, you're, I was You're professional. To. Thank you. In only six episodes. Really? Yeah. Has How there been are we going to go on doing this? Not as long as it's fun. Hey, 
As long as people want us to do it, and as long as, you know, I just look up and there's a picture of Obama hanging on the camera. What is he looking at, man? I don't know. He looks like he's looking right at you, actually. It makes me nervous. He's kind of, why is that there? Why is, what's up with the press? We'll have to figure out this. The sign's all over. Yeah. Thanks for having me on the show. All right, we got to go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. To uh, Hawaii, the state of clean energy on Wednesday. And we have Sharon Moriwaki, my co-host and co-chair of the uh, Hawaii Energy Policy Forum. And we have War Warren Bollmeyer today, a special guest with the Hawaii Renewable Energy Alliance and also a member of the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum. In fact, and he's our Renewable Energy Working Group Chair. So he is. He takes he care is. of all of us. You ought to see him in song and dance. Too. <laughs> <laughs> he does the musical part of the show. Uh, Sharon is more serious than that, but not much more not serious. Much more. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what do you think of this show? I mean, is this good? I think this is good. We hope it's good. We hope it attracts a lot more people than than our forum so that people can see what's going on in energy and clean energy and uh, and and call in, write in, tweet yeah, we or want Twitter. That. We, tweet. Want, uh, we want public engagement, civic engagement for everybody because that's the only way we're going to get down the road on this, right, Warren? Yeah, I think so, and it's an opportunity for guys um, like me to share a little bit of their mana and and uh, sometimes get the facts right. Who was that guy that said, just give me the facts, you know, start with the facts and then work from there? Oh, it was Dragnet guy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was what I was Jack just, a, I was just in grade school then. I barely that remember that. Like, yeah. Just the facts, man. Just a man, man. <laughs> Here on Hawaii, the state of clean energy, <laughs> every Wednesday from 4 to 5. You'll see. Come back soon. Right, Sharon? Great. Right. Uh Yes. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. We're back. I love the commercials here. They're almost kind of like uh, Saturday Night Live with the Bronco. Oh, you know the Fishomatic, and uh, I always, I always enjoyed those Fishomatic. Don't you remember that Bronco's Fishomatic was a blender. Bronco. <laughs> I like he'd how make, he always comes up with make, new stuff all the time. He'd make fish smoothies what and stuff. What was the best one, Bronco? Bronco. He had that chicken thing. The uh, chicken took. I'll chicken just set cooker. it, forget it. Show. Oh, we used to say that at the set shop. Set it, all the time. set it, and forget, forget it. it. Yeah, All right. That's a good one, man. Um, good one. I got some more weird stuff we can talk about here. Weird? Um, really? Well, not really On weird. This show? Yeah. Weird? Um, the the new Star Wars is coming out, Joe. Really? I'm not really a Star Wars kind of guy. You're not. No. Well, I, I kind of am, so I'm gonna just touch on it a little bit. Eighty yeah, days I'll just be over or, here talking. Eighty to days or something. Seriously, you never saw Star Wars? I've seen it. I don't really remember it. I, don't I, think I might have saw it the very first time it came out. Really? Was that like forty years ago? Yeah, like. Is it really that old? It is that old. I just bought that T-shirt. It says Corellian. Apparently, I, I made the Millennium Falcon or something. Yeah. I still don't know the story behind it. I think it was the... Because I'm not a Star Wars guy, so I'll probably never know. It was a Corellian Millennium Star Falcon. Star Wars with R2-D2? Yeah, that was the one. I like R2-D2. Really? We're having this discussion. I had a shot back named R2-D2. You know, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Anyways, like it. <laughs> Disney bought... Uh, Lucas um, sold Disney... Uh, Star Wars, the franchise, for up to bazillion dollars, and they're taking it and moving forward. Um, they're making a new movie. It's coming out in 80 or less days, I think I saw on the internet. So people are kind of excited about that, Joe. Are you Joe. plugging the Star Wars movie? I think that Star Wars Dude, is Can cool, we do that here? Man. I didn't know we did that here. I, well, we won't get in trouble from Lucasfilm anymore, but I'm mm. probably Disney is probably way more hmm. aggro than that. So You know our Facebook page I was is going off it. over here? Is it? What's so going on the ladies, there? The broad topic ladies and Donna yeah. are just, you know, just That's what they off, do. You know. Good. I'm glad you're watching the show, ladies. Yeah, that's good. You should because you're on it. You know, kind of... <laughs> Helps a little. <laughs> We're having fun. I mean, I don't know. That this means we have five viewers now, probably. Or One, six. Two, three, four, We're not, six. Maybe right. seven. We maybe seven. the ratings. It's, it's, people know. are watching, I think. Who cares? Um, we don't even care. <laughs> we could sit here and ramble for like four hours and well, nobody would have to watch. We care. Of course, We're they would shut not. the studio down because we were the last show. Um, so they'd be like, okay, guys, you know, <laughs> we're leaving, man. Just lock up when you're done. All right, so uh, Halloween's coming. I went to a what's... Halloween store this weekend. Hold on, we'll get right to that. We'll get okay, back to that. I see, it, talk. I see it. I'll read the the Halloween doors are open, and there's people in there, and they're buying stuff. And I'd like to talk about sexy Halloween costumes and sexy girls Halloween. that are wearing sexy Halloween Kmart? costumes. No, they're everywhere, man. Oh, sick. You know, Kmart you know has Halloween. a kid's Halloween costume. I mean, they got every character I mean, you can, can probably imagine. cut them up a little bit. Make them Sexy pirates, sexy ghosts, sexy whatever. 
Does it have hands. to be sexy? Well, they make it sexy. Is that what Halloween is? Uh, that's what it's kind of become. That's adult Halloween, I guess. Which I, it was great on Halloween night. Girls look hot. You know, on Halloween, I actually, went out, I actually went out with just a trench coat. I swear. <laughs> trench coat and my motorcycle boots and I my gloves. I would have had a little sign that would have been... No, I had hey. just a trench coat. I think I opened it once, too, maybe. At yeah. the end of the night when I was like... Yeah, yeah. back in the day. When probably you came drink. open... Right. Once or twice. But anyways, I was thinking about the sexy Halloween girls and how they dress up in their costumes at night. And, it, and if you've ever seen, like, the day after Halloween, see some of these girls walking home, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of tragic. Really? It really That's takes the walk of shame to a whole other level. I guess it is. is, that is? It's kind of a bad ending. It's kind of, I'll probably get in trouble for that, too. You know, it might be have you ever been to Halloween, um, Waikiki for Halloween? I did. I went last year, and it was insane. We I loved years, it. years, and it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little crazy. It's cool. There's yeah. all kinds of. You know I'm what I found? Driving there though. You know what was I'm really driving. interesting was um, uh, I, there, I kept seeing guys in Waldo costumes. Waldo. You know, like, like where's, where's Waldo? Waldo? And I kept oh. going, dude, you're not that hard to find. You're right there. <laughs> I just saw you ten minutes there's ago. There's too many of you. There's, there's already yeah. I don't so even Waldo get that. Was where's Waldo? Not hard to find yeah. in Waikiki. I always found Waldo. Oh, Waldo was never hard to find. You know, maybe only for maybe if Waldo was uh, uh, <laughs> talking to Carmen Sandiego. Less intelligent species yeah. probably can't find him. <laughs> I could always find Waldo. What is is that the politically correct term for it? What's that? The less intelligent species. The less intelligent well, natural selection. Because nowadays does everything needs a politically correct term. Yeah, we you know like probably residentially will. challenged, Resident uh, urbanly challenged, urbanly. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. People that are, don't like to go to town, like you. You know, at least come up with a real word, will you? <laughs> Urbanly is not a word. Who makes up Urbanly. words? Urbanly. All right. So like Donna that. just uh, tweeted us, and she wants to know, what song has your favorite guitar riff? Uh, You're really going to make us think. Uh, and I already know. I already got one that just comes right off the top of my head. Um, Black Sabbath had, uh, uh, was it Sabotage? It's got that dun 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 It's right in the middle of the song. Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. It's the middle of Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. Where can you run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that, that's not on Sabotage, though. That's on It's on Sabbath, bloody Sabbath, which had a really cool album cover. That's your favorite? Well, it's one of the just comes to mind. Anything by Edward Van It might Van actually be on Pink Floyd, The Wall. Uh, if you really listen to that album. Oh, The Wall's man, great. The guitar stuff on there. Is just yeah, yeah, yeah. Headphones. Yeah. Mind-boggling, man. Yeah. Crazy. Dark Side of the Moon. Because I'm a Pink Floyd guy, and we didn't But, do I mean, it was like guitar uh, riff. Actually, I'm a Black Sabbath guy, and we yeah. still didn't do that. Because it was, as Nancy said, a Ronnie James deal. It was thing. a Ronnie James thing. And although I like the Heaven horns. and Hell, We're back Heaven and Hell's a good album, but yeah. after that, Black Sabbath... Yeah, I don't know. Heaven and Hell with Ronnie was. You know, I even hate to say it because they're my heroes, but you know, the guys, it's getting a little old, man. That's Ozzy, okay. still a doing it, man. Vacation time. <laughs> um, can we talk about Christmas? Do we have to? It's October, buddy. Well, it, you wrote it down on our thing here. Well, and, because uh, Donna, of all people, posted a uh, picture uh, of Christmas uh, stuff, uh, man. Man, it's, it's too not early. Even October. It's not even Halloween. I was I mean, in. I was in Macy's the other day, and they have trees, full-on sections and it's trees really, it's all just, set up. By the time Christmas comes anymore, I'm just done with it, man. I'm done with it before it's Thanksgiving. It's heavy, man. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Last year, I didn't even want to put a tree up. I'm like, man, let's just, yeah. you know. Well, you don't a, have to. You can just go down to the we'll mall. Put a piece of paper on the wall like a Christmas tree. You know, tape it up. Here, kids. Rip it down. We're done. Just, just take some paint you know, and paint one on the that. wall. Here, kids, enjoy. You know, I always had a fake tree for a long time, and I always wanted to like cut it in half, like right. the pole, and just bound it against the mount wall. Mount half of it inside and half of it outside. Oh, would that be cool? It'd be an indoor outdoor. Well, that would definitely <laughs> freak people <laughs> out when they come through the front door. All right, so we had got part three of our uh, <laughs> lasers at high noon video. Um, Sexy home. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to it. Um, we got another tweet, today. which is going to be quite interesting. It's from Nancy. We'll Ooh, just go to it right now. Sexy Halloween costumes are for uh, empty-headed girls who crave attention. Supposed to be scary, not a bimbo fest. Not a bimbo fest. Coming from Nancy, you, we understand that. Right? You know, we I get that. that. That's what I was asking. Is it supposed to be scary? Halloween is not really I like sexy, it. man. I, I'm not a fr I'm not a. But it's an adult thing. It's scary in the next morning. Does that count? When you're hungover. 
And, and they're walking home. Make up is Yo, going yeah. on. So it starts out being sexy, but by the next morning it's scary. Yeah. It's kind of it's like one of those costumes that... It's supposed to be ugly and scary. It's a costume that uh, evolves. It's an evolving costume. Anyways, last week uh, we had part two of the Lolo lasers at uh, <coughs> High Noon. I think I shot you last week. I, I did. Uh, we both got good dying scenes, and in this week's episode, well, you'll find out happens, what happens. Yeah. Why you dirty, no good, low down on the floor, son of a gun? What'd you call me? I said, why you no good, never mind. I challenge you to a duel. Hey. Laser pistols at high noon. Laser pistols. Ready? Ready. A one, a two, three. Hug it out. Woo! Hey, we're back. How many westerns have ended with a hug? <sighs> Not too many. I don't think, I don't think they hug them out too often. Yeah. It's usually... interesting, huh? See, that's the new... Politically correct That's Western. That's the politically correct <laughs> version of that video. A politically correct Western. Nobody dies. And, and no, no cowboys or Vikings were I kind of like that, how the laser guns didn't work. Yeah. It's like nothing coming out. Yeah. Man. It's like, screw it, hug it out. Yeah. Get it over. We're with. pals anyways. That's how mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. um, we can talk a little bit about this weekend coming up. Um, tonight's Thursday night. I'm... Uh, I'm actually thinking about going down and throwing down at the open mic down in Anna's. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make tonight. Yeah. I might. Maybe next week. Yeah. I might. I probably tomorrow might go. Tomorrow night. I probably might go. I'm going out tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow night's going to be great. Uh, tomorrow night's the Infrared Rabbit at Crossroads. CD release. I CD think. release party, I believe. They're great. Man, that is one great band. I so, saw them once and they did Fuel, Metallica Fuel. Man, if you're watching, awesome, um, Lola Brothers, that big was fans. That was up kind of moment right there. Big fans, yeah. The band, the guitar player is awesome. The singer, yeah, she's, yeah, she's really great. got a great voice and yeah. she's... High energy. High energy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a really good band. So yeah. that's going on on Friday and Saturday. I'm not really sure. I tried to look for some stuff, but it's hard to find stuff here sometimes. Yeah, really? Yeah, can be. We can just video for yeah. the next week's show. We may do that. We yeah. may do that. Saturday All right, night, so we'll do that. I would like to thank a few people. I would like to thank you, Joe. Thank you for buddy. showing up. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank me for showing up. Huh? There, I always show up. There it is. Until they kick us out, man. We're showing up, man. Um, I'd like to thank Jay Fidel, Carol Jay. Mon Lee, Thanks, our Jay. studio You're engineer, the Zuri Bender, the Zuri. magical ear fairy that lives in my ear, our Zuri. floor manager, Nick Sexton over here, Nick. Uh, Sachi Slomoff, and Ian Davidson. Sachi. And if I left we any... We miss and, Sachi. And everybody else. We miss Sachi and the Wednesday crew. So we if I missed Wednesday, anybody... Huh? Yeah. 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 yeah, I miss Saki too. She's really cool. Yeah. But we got Nick. Nick's a rad Nick's dude. Nick's great. He keeps us rolling. And uh, that's the end of this episode. I hope we talked about something that was fairly uh, educational and entertaining. So, Nancy, uh, I'm looking at the straight ahead at the monitor. Okay, there it is. I see you. Yeah.